Okay, guys, I just had this 3D print finish. Um, three hours, well, like five minutes ago. I just woke up right now. So, but uh, I'm gonna show you guys how easy my supports are to remove. Yeah. Okay, really magnetic. <laughs> um, oh, by the way, this is the the thing I designed on the last video. This is the I showed you only the this version of it but here it is hanging on the wall Look how badass that is mm -hmm. the way that supports that i'm going to show you the technique it also work for this piece because it hangs backwards i mean i made it printed from the bottom to the top and it, it removes easy easy um, so i'm going to show you that also on this um let me show you real quick two screws oh i didn't put it together just practice um plants up there so two screws and you're on. I don't understand everybody that designs everything else where it's like another mechanism that you screw onto the wall anyways, and then you screw the, you put the thing on it. It's like what? Double engineering. Kind of like this every time I see this, this is my version, but everybody else's version has two rods. When yeah, it, it needs two points of contact, but the other point of contact could be the wall. Like, so why design it with two rods? Um, when it's a matter of fact, when you do it this way, the wall itself will help with like 50 percent of the weight so it could be even um sturdier that way you know what i mean anyways i don't know some people just overthink it overthink engineering but let me yeah show let me show you guys the tip well now it's a longer video than i meant for it to be how easy my supports are to get rid of <sighs> all right watch this oh like i said this will print it fast 300 speed um so but yet hold on i need to hold that thing look at this ready that's it <laughs> hardly any strength um but yeah and look at how good it is even at 300 speed right and this works on itself too if you would have had it like on itself you would not be able to tell that it had supports. Um, so the number one tip for easiest supports, best supports, removal, and support that I have ever done. There are other settings that help with the number one setting. And is to... I thought I was looking at it. Where this beard? Hold on real quick. Hold on, guys. Here it is. This is the number one tip. To move your seat top and seat bottom distance for your supports to point three. And that could, that's the number one tip ever. There's other stuff that you could do to make it help, but that's the number one tip if you're having problems with your supports or your stuff ain't printing right or it's too hard to remove. Just trust me. Give a like, by the way, because after you try this, you will see. Most of them come with 1.1 1 .1 or 0.8 or 1.8. But, yeah, just try a, a 0.3. Um, the prints, as you can see, are still great. And this is painted really fast, but it still came out great. So yeah, give a thumbs up. I know that was a good tip and have a good day.